Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with a mass unboxing video. What I have for you all over here is four boxes. One, a very big box and three really smaller ones, but one of the smaller packages is actually the biggest unboxing that we're going to have because there's a lot of cool goodies in there that I bet all of you on the channel who actually watch our videos will like. So what we're gonna do is get into unboxing it. First up, there's one box here that's actually open already. Kind of got a little bit excited because I knew what it was, but I definitely want to share it all with you. And before we get into that, I'm going to show you all something that I got that's actually already unboxed, but will be used on this channel a lot. What I have right here is a Sony Cybershot HX80. This is a vlogging camera that has a flip out screen, as you can tell right here. And what we're going to be using this for is for more ride along style content and more vlogging style content to where I can just turn it on and basically go with it. As you can tell, there's you right there. You can see the footage on this and I can go around and do some vlogging style content, but this camera was worth the investment. I went ahead and purchased something like this because I've been looking around for a while to get something like this. But without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So what we have right here, which it just fell off apparently. Oh God. What we have right here is a package of something I bought on eBay. There are a lot of YouTubers out here who do these series and they have names for their series like this. Like I know Com TV has what's in a box or unbox something. I can't remember the name of it, but there are a bunch of people out there who actually actually do these unboxing videos and have a name for it. I really don't have a name for it. We're just unboxing stuff. Here we have none other than this. I'm gonna get it out. Boom. This right here is a well CPU and specifically, as long as this is the right CPU, this should be a Yes, this is an Intel i3-530. And it's a basic i3 with hyperthreading. This is one of Intel's very first i3s. And with the hype around the new i3 with the overclocking unlocked cores, I decided to get one of these things to do some videos with it to see how far we have come. So we're definitely gonna check this thing out in a future video, do some benchmarking with it. As long as I can get a motherboard that works because the motherboard I had for an other build that I still got a long time ago, I've been waiting forever to put together, doesn't seem to work. So I need to find another motherboard. So that'll probably be in another unboxing video if I find one and get it sent to me. Next up is the box that I accidentally opened, but it was mainly because I was super excited to see what was inside this thing. But you know, just for dramatic effect, let's just, you know, it's open, I unboxed it. So if we open it up right here, we see a box from our good friends, our new good friends, over at Waz Keyboards, W-A-S-D Keyboards. They sent this over for review and allowed me to use their customizer on their website to customize the keyboard to my choosing, and I decided to go with this. This, I introduce to you, is the Toasty Bros edition of a Waz keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches. Now, I know a lot of you out there probably thought I'd go with blues, but honestly, ever since I started using the Rokat Sorora FX, I really started to enjoy the brown switch type. A lot of people think it's too mushy, but I really like the tactile feel without it being too loud. And as you can tell on this keyboard, I went with the orange color scheme with a little bit of gray. These are custom keycaps using our new artwork, which really I wanted to use a different artwork style, but I went ahead and went with these just because it was the artwork that we're using at the moment. We did transition back to our older artwork but this keycap is custom made and we're gonna have a very full review of this keyboard coming very shortly to the channel so stay tuned for that because I know you all love your mechanical keyboard content next up we have something that is well this thing Ugh. so this is the as you can tell on the outside the pure base 600 be quiet sent over this case for review and it's basically like the Silent Base 600, but it's their new version, the Pure Base 600. And this version doesn't come with a side panel window, but it's a budget offering at around $85 US. So this case is supposed to be a very silent optimized case with a lot of their silent optimized stuff in it. And you know what? Let's just open it up and see how it looks. You know what? One second, guys. There we go. All right move you out of the way yeah here oh almost hit my light all right so here's the case um you can't see it right now but i'm gonna take it out of its hard cell foam what we have here is the silent the pure base 600 not the silent base 600 like the one i used to have is my personal rig which i really didn't recommend that case because the exhaust options were not really good for the sacrifice that you're making for silence in the case but this is a mid tower case with a very interesting color scheme to it. I actually am kind of a fan of it. We open it up right here. We can take it out of its packaging and show it off. This is a very nice looking case. It's very sleek. The exhaust options are once again, seems like not the best, but we're gonna do a review of this thing and give it a 
fair shot and see if it's going to be an okay case to purchase and if I really recommend it. But nonetheless, it reminds me a lot of the Silent Bay 600 that I have sitting over in the corner. So we'll see if this thing is even worth the money. And last but certainly not least is a package that actually just arrived today and was the last thing I was waiting for to do this unboxing video. So what we have here is a couple products from our friends over at AMD. They sent over a couple things here. Let me make sure we got what we wanted. Yes, we did. We got what we wanted. With Ryzen coming out, AMD decided to send us over some of their older chips to test out and just mess around with and see what kind of builds we can make with them. So props to them for sending over this little care package and helping us out a ton with being able to do some cool builds for you guys. In no way do we recommend you go pick up any of these CPUs nowadays, but nonetheless, these are still awesome value chips. So what we have right here, first up is a AMD A10-7890K. This is an APU that AMD sent over. These are all tray chips. They aren't actually retail box chips, so these are just tray chips. Um, it's a very awesome little CPU. We're going to test it out and put it to the test and see how well APUs actually still perform today in modern titles and if it's still worth getting an AMD APU. Next up we have, let's see, what is this? This is a okay, we'll save this one for a minute. We got an AMD this one, this is what I'm looking for. This is an AMD FX 8370. This is the top of the line 8300 series that they made. And it's a pretty solid CPU, eight cores still. It's the AMD FX series. And while we still don't recommend the AMD FX series as I'm gonna repeat many, many times, this is still a very solid CPU that people can get if you can get it for a very affordable price. And then lastly, this guy, I honestly, we, we just had to get this thing just to keep it for memories. This is a AMD FX 9590, the eight core beast that rocks at five gigahertz out of the box and is a heat consuming machine with about 220 watt TDP if I remember properly off the top of my head. But this thing is a heat beast and it's somewhat not comparable for the performance and the heat output it has with the whole FX series, but we kind of just had to get our hand on one of these things because it's just, you know, it's an FX9590. You kind of just want to hang on to one of them, especially for people who like AMD and really want to see the last of their top of the line ships. So I think, it, yep, that's everything. That's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, decided to do this quick unboxing video because I knew you all would like this style of content and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you want to see any of these videos in a review, especially really soon, comment down below and I'll, whatever one I get comments the most, I will do content of quicker. And also, join our Discord community so you can talk about tech. The link will be in the description down below. It's an awesome thing. And even if you don't know anything about Discord, I highly recommend you join and read up about it. It's definitely worth joining. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.